With the Supreme Court striking down affirmative action, the conversation shifts to what's next for the college admissions process. Some lawmakers are now calling for the end of legacy admissions. That's where a college or university gives preference to the children of alumni. Now, critics have called both of these policies unfair. As WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us this evening, colleges and high school students are trying to figure out what happens next. So where do colleges go now? That's the question following the Supreme Court's ruling to strike down affirmative action, ending long-standing race-conscious admissions policies. I think there's going to be a, a shift in thought process because I think that they're going to be worried from a legal standpoint that they are adhering to the policies of the court. Joan Casey is the president of Education Advocates College Consulting. They have several former college admissions people on their staff. I would recommend that, that students of color not feel discouraged by this ruling. I, I feel that they should do what they were going to do before. She says universities typically understand that diversity is an educational tool on campus and a benefit. In a letter to students, UMass Boston Chancellor Marcelo Suarez Oroso said the school will continue to take a holistic approach to applications, taking into account cultural and geographical backgrounds, as well as understanding how race and ethnicity shape their lives. Diversity isn't just race. Of course, it's, it's gender, it's socioeconomics, it's disability, it's all kinds of things, but we tend to think of it as solely race. Casey says schools like Florida University haven't been allowed to use race in admissions for years. She says they use application tools that blindly look at the socioeconomics of their student body to allow them to have a better handle on diversity. I don't know how you can ban race conscious admission and not, you know, think about a challenge to legacy admissions. There are bills in the Massachusetts House and Senate aiming to ban legacy admissions. Senator Lydia Edwards is behind one. Legacy admissions are admitting a person based off of their family connection. While Casey admits there are legacy candidates who are people of color, she says the majority in 2023 are white. Legacy preferences is what blocks a lot of people from getting into colleges and universities, uh, with some uh, Ivy League institutions um, be having 35% of their students being legacy preferences. In some of these cases, students may not have been admitted without those connections, potentially taking spots away from more qualified candidates. And it has nothing to do with, with, with your qualifications, not even necessarily what you can bring to the table in terms of diversity, because you're, <laughs> your parents went there and you are like your parents. In Boston, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.